Hello everyone watching at home, you're with Adelaide Eternal bringing you some of our playtesting. So this is a Versus series, we pick two Highlander decks, we jam the two Highlander decks together, and we see who comes out on top. I am here with none other than Beckett Wolf. Alright, g'day guys to everybody watching. So, what are you playing Beckett? I'm playing Junk Midrange, I've been playing it for a fair while, and uh, it's actually gotten quite good because uh, it's crept up I think, because it's been slowly depointed because it was doing quite badly. And uh, I think it's at a really good place right now. Caracas is depointing. Uh, sorry, Caracas is being able to be played. Uh, strip mines you know, depointed, claims depointed. It's in a really good spot. It's got a great matchup versus aggro. Um, and you can flush your sideboard with anti control and anti combo um, spells. So, um, yeah, it's in a really good spot right now. It's fun just going turn one dork into turn three threat. Simple magic. Simple magic, and hopefully not magic that's going to crush me. Uh, I am on a brew called Get Rector. So this is where you focus on finding Academy Rector or Arena Rector and proceeding to wreck your opponent. So it is also a mid-range deck, so you can play it in the mid-range shell, but we do get the opportunity to flash combo out some Rectors into some nasty 7-8 drops. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's get to the game. She's gonna play first. Uh, okay, let's find out me. by a high roll. Go for it. Oh yes, I can beat that. Ah, uh, <laughs> clearly you've thwarted me. Okay, I'm just gonna look at my hand first. Go for it. <clears throat> my hand's very good. Um, I mean, you got a, exactly what you want, which is turn my dog into turn three duda. Um, oh, I know what you got. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything. It could even be turn one dork into turn three dude. That's literally like what this deck does. So yeah. Sav, is that, I'm actually like not giving away anything to Sav here because it could be any turn one dork into any turn three threat. Um, and even if the dork gets bolted or misstepped, which is bad, like the, the hand's still great. I've got like land and spell. So yeah, it's a keep. Cool. All right, mine is also a keep. So uh, although we've got this clunker over here, uh, which I'll put over to the side. We have uh, a nice balance with uh, these three pieces, and then we've got a little bit of interaction and a little bit of business as well. Sweet. All right, uh, so you're on the play. Take it away. Good All start. righty. So Savannah, I'm going to miss this. Oh, yeah. There it goes. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're just talking about that. <laughs> the dream's being crushed. So I just drew this card. Uh, I'm going to start off with... Some oh no that actually doesn't work because I'm a four color deck. Let's not play poorly and let's instead play this land and pass the turn. So Sub's got to be careful. I'm running um, strip mine. Um, so if he's playing a four color deck, he does have to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'm going to fetch. I don't think he's going to start for me. No, you got it. Uh, I'll shortcut get scrubland and play Jitty. Umazawa's Jitty. <laughs> you may resolve said Jitter and I will <laughs> also fetch at the end of your turn and may as well grab myself a land. Probably gonna grab myself at Savannah 2.0, whatever that one's called. Huge spoilers Temple here. We, we we can't minus I mean we're both playing Infect and what is it? Is it energy? Uh, energy counters? Energy, we're both, but you can't minus because the mats oh, are in the I way. See. So we can so, only get we can only get counters. You're good, you're good. <laughs> Uh, so one of one of the hilarious things about uh, building a deck a while ago and then playing it and then going, oh wait a second, Temple Garden isn't in this. That's all right. I'll just uh, do the old fetch for no value. Is that is that how it's going to be? Oh, is that what you've done? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> now my desperate shaman's good. So max value, right? Uh, so there is something to be said for me not um, casting turn two uh, Umizawa's Jitty there because I might want to go like turn four play it and equip it in like one foul swoop when he's tapped out. But I'm happy to be matter efficient because I've got a turn three play and a turn four play. I'm going to play this. Ooh! Seems decent. Yep. All right, so yeah, watery grave tapped, so I'm going to save a little bit of life here. Because these do, games do sometimes come down to life, which is strange. So I've got a choice between these two, but I think this guy's really good. Um, I took out Eternal Witness for this guy recently, and oh, so I absolutely loved it. It's been... The tempo change is just like absolutely massive. Uh, there's always something to hit. Uh, I've got perfect mana here. I can play an Arbor Elf, uh, which gives me another body to get onto the... Oh, so it's just habit there, isn't it? Yeah, I need um, to chuck this over here just for the uh, viewers at home can see the lovely Adelaide Eternal branding. So I will. We'll get Arbor Elf and I'll pass. Max value. Yeah, max value. Uh, okay, so let's untap and draw. Uh, okay. 
So this is a card that I have drawn, and I guess that somewhat changes my play. So I'm going to go land here, and let's go fetch. So now we'll go to 16. Now, what colour sources can we get? That is the joy of the four colour decks. All right? Black. Um, <laughs> black green. We're probably going to get... Uh, get the Shaman out. Black green seems oh, to Put on double green and I probably want... Uh, yeah, double black, double black, double green. Do I need double white? Mm. Sometimes you just forget what you even built here. This mess. It's been a while since you played this. Oh hasn't yeah. It? <laughs> uh, this is the first time I picked this up in about six well, months. Well, I think so. we wanted to do like... Like a bit of a fringy deck versus a kind of gauntlet, like a staple of the format. Because I've got a fringy deck I wanted to test out. Um, but we were like, oh, fringy versus fringy, maybe not. So Max fringe. All right, the, the fringe. Gonna hit the slightly better land in green because it hits um, Dried Arbor. Fringe business. I could have gone back to this and said Dried Arbor, yes. Yeah, so this is fine. Sure. Okay. So. Uh, what have we got on to Thing. I know how glary that is. It's tricky. It's tricky because there's a particular card in my hand. Is it Jim Junkie? I don't necessarily want to be in my hand. Oh, is it a conspirator? <laughs> and I find Arena Rector okay. with Eladam Rizgal. I'll just leave my deck like this. Sure. I'm going to flash this into play. Yeah, no worries with that. No worries with that at all. <laughs> Alright, so how this works, uh, for those at home, is flash means I get to put something at instant speed into play. We both get and, to go. Oh, that would be so good, right? <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of show and tell action there. Uh, and I have to pay for the rest of its mana cost, but, you know, I'm just going to opt not to. And this is going to die. So when it dies, I get to search for a planeswalker and put it onto the battlefield. Should I get Liliana Last Hope? Mmm... Maybe I should get Liliana. Maybe I get Ugin the Spirit Dragon. How about okay. that? And you're gonna plus tug at me. I'll take three. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know it's it's actually surprisingly tempting. Uh, but in this instance, getting rid of a bunch of your creatures and not having an Imazawa's Jitter around. Pretty devastated. I didn't hit uh, hit fetch line. I almost got fetch line because I got, got another dog. I was almost gonna go like oh fetch line dog or fetch uh, keep up dry lava. I think I'm pretty done anyway. Yeah. Exile all these permanents. And then I'll pass turn to you. Right. So now the, the trick here is... I'm just going to move this again because it's I'm obscuring some stuff. Uh, the trick here is obviously if you have Council's Judgment, that's pretty painful for me. So I'm just going to hope that you don't, hey? Um, so fetch. I'll get... Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Basic black, I suppose. Now basic black. Oh, see, Dryad is pretty bang, swollen. Bang, 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 bang. You did it. Bang. And I'm possible. Okay, so let's go onto and draw. Uh, all right. So as you can see, sometimes there are downsides to running a deck like this, uh, but we can fix that. Oh, I'm going to keep doing this thing. <laughs> I feel like a mother, just you know, making sure little Johnny is you know taking care of his playmat. Uh, okay, so we're going to go up here. Tuck it right. And I believe I can do three damage to you. Uh, I got a measly uh, seventeen. All right, measly seventeen. I got a six power, uh, six not power, six loyalty over here. Seems pretty decent. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pass turn to you. So I got the option here of equipping um, and swinging, and it probably could get me back in this game. Obviously, Ugin puts me pretty far behind. The, um, it's an interesting race here, right? So, like, if you just attack him for four and he goes to two, then he goes up to four the next turn and so on. But yeah. if you equip, then taking him to two, he goes up to four, and then you have counters. It, I, accident, I just get absolutely smooched by um, a spot removal. Removal though. spell will wreck you. So it's like a bit of a high-risk, high reward, because otherwise I could kind of, like, load the board up a bit more. But I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. If I think he's got spot removal... I should just cast uh, these two. And if I think he doesn't have spot removal, I should definitely equip. But I could be so far behind that I have to equip to get the value. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I guess another advantage of... I mean, there's advantage and disadvantage, obviously. But one of the advantages of equipping is that you prevent me from playing things with two toughness or less from here. But... If you don't answer this, then it's a game over anyway. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's possible that you just swing, don't do anything. I also feel like you probably don't have that many 
that many spot removals in your in a combo deck. Like he's playing a little bit of control, but it's mainly a combo slash mid range deck. Yeah, it's kind of you take a mid range deck and a combo deck and smush them together. Yeah. And I don't know. I guess I I pass the turn not doing anything. So either I've got a bunch of four drops or um or I ain't got nothing. <clears throat> Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch. Or as they say, Noble High Arc. Uh, yeah, sure. That resolves. So, Exalted here is going to be huge, actually, right? Yeah, good old text. Does make a big change. True. Um, so, let's trophy this guy. Alright, so I did the conservative line and I got rewarded for it. Uh, I get to search up Basic Forest. And I'll shortcut because I'm just yep. going to. Keep up this and play an offender. So this one's actually not bad because yeah, you good. can't get bolted by the Ugin. Yeah. Um, so it's a three mana threat that can't get bolted by the Ugin and pressures uh, an exalted and pressures the same thing I was pressuring last time. So I'll pass. I like it. Alright. I'll uh, untap. Gives you a land, but uh, okay. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating, but you know, so be it. I drew this, this card here. So being out of practice with the deck means land fetching is a little bit tricky. Uh, let's. Exile all permanents that have X or less. And then I will pass the turn. Feeling pretty bad. Yeah, Ugin seems to do a bit of work, hey. Uh, goof. Tama Goof. Alright. Yep. That's Goof. Uh, he is all G. Trigger. Go. Alright. Um, so that's somewhat annoying. I mean, it still feels pretty bad here because you can just like neg, oh, yeah. neg three and just win, or even neg two, to be honest. So, yeah, neg two, and then but there's then, a one-one, yeah. but it kills my guy, which is pretty bad. Uh, so, let's go to my turn. I just have to, I have to load the board up there. I drew this. I mean, that it's not great, but it changes something. Uh, okay, so let's go... Why don't we go... Uh, what are you on? Can we use... Yeah, GTA's pretty huge. Creature, land, sorcery... No sorcery. Creature, land, instant. Creature land instant? Okay. Yeah, three. Right. Okay. Mm. So you're empty handed, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'd rather not have this uh, Imazel's Jutta connect, but sometimes beggars can't be choosers, right? Uh, so the choices are obviously killing this and then doing something to this guy. Um, but, and then this way, this guy doesn't die over here. You can just like neg three and just assume. I lose my Ugin there. You lose your Ugin, but you got like five cards in hand versus me with no cards in hand. That's assuming my five cards in hand are good. Ah. <laughs> right. All eggs in one so, basket, huh? Yeah, somewhat. If I'm they're going to be in a basket, I'd rather it be in the board basket. All my all my eggs are indeed in the said basket. The board, board basket. The board basket. Uh, so why don't I play this? Because I'm basically 100% playing this. Card here. Hey, that's what I did last time. I was like, yeah. either way, I'm playing Hero. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna happen, right? Uh, is there a no? I was gonna say, is there, a, is there a benefit to doing this for zero? <laughs> Get this. Yeah, uh, probably uh, not. Since you can just no, it doesn't, <laughs> no. doesn't seem good, does it? Uh, kill that guy. No, I think, I, I think I'll do the, the other one and just go minus two to everything, right? And then play this. Then at least I got a chump blocker for the blade splicer, right? Seems okay. Alright, go for it. Oh uh, dear. He's got punished from this. So I think, yeah. I mean, we're in a similar position where, like, oh, I could play the threat or I could equip, um, but he's already used removal. I'm so far behind. I want to connect. So I'm going to equip and swing. Alright, so it's a 1-1, one, one, right? Yep. A 1-1. One, one. Uh, so we obviously have to have to deal with this. You know, have to block it. Uh, Killing it would be good. Him ho. Feels bad. Well, let's do the thing. And I'll flash this into play. Yep. I uh, will target mental misstep. Sure. Alright, I'll block this guy. Yeah. And so, like, this feels pretty bad for me, but, like, that's the power of the equipment, is now it turns mm. anything, even a dorky 1 1, into something that he has to deal with. Um, so, I get some counters. Yep. Do you want to kill this? Uh, probably. I'm going to cast this one first. Oh, seems good. <clears throat> and then I will kill that. Seems good. Go. Okay, let's, uh, let's untap. And the Jitter is doing the work. Alright, there we go. Bomb! It's here. I will lose two life. We got there. We got there. 
Uh, okay, so let's go minus zero to everything. And uh, let's pass it. It's a pretty good draw, I have to admit. It's pretty good. That's not a good it's probably, I mean, I, I feel like I'm so far behind, but if there's going to be any draw, it's this yeah, one. It so I, I didn't have the double blue because I fetched Bayou instead of um, Tropical Island the, a couple of turns ago. Yep. So that was pretty painful. Yeah, and again, like, I could play around counter spell, but the longer I'm playing around counter spells, Ugin's no, just going to take the game away. Let's go zero to everything. Yep. And like, same again, I know these are going to get zeroed, but it's, I've got to like put threats on the board at some point. So. Yep, seems fair. Uh, this one? Uh, it resolves. Uh, I gain two, and then I'll equip, and I'll pass. Alright, gaining all them lives. Those life points. <laughs> I'm, pre like, I'm pretty close to scooping. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, well, I guess Kitchen Things, he bolts it, and I keep it, and then I can, like, I think I bolt it. you, though, right? Like You can bolt me. You can bolt whatever I mean, you want. What does bolting Kitchen Things do, right? Because I've got this guy. Can... Yeah, I guess so. I've got this guy for days. Uh, so we'll play this land. You can bolt Things and then bolt it again next turn, and then start swinging with Trinam. Yeah, I guess so. Yep, alright, well either way I'm going to go up to 3, so let's just make this guy smaller, I guess. You can respond to bolting though, right? So maybe that's not the play? Uh, I'm fine with that though. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I can do it next turn, right? Alright, go for it. Can I? Can I? Can I? No, I can't. No, so maybe you would, so then I should just target you. Is that oh, the correct that play? makes sense, yeah. It's probably the correct play. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm here. Uh, you didn't gain any life. From... Nah, I took it back. I took yeah. It back. Not that Go. not that life points are gonna decide that for sure. Oh. Uh okay, so let's uh target you. Alright, you were targeting me, so yeah. uh, now 13. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll play this land tapped and bust you. Is it actually a really good draw? Whoa. Again, I'm still so far behind, but I'm like drawing pretty well considering. <laughs> like string root guys into things, resto, lingry, like they're all pretty good draws. Seems decent. So I flick of this, he comes off yep. game two. Gains luck. I untap, I draw. Not spinning that counter is relevant. Right? I draw a pretty good spell to be honest. Oh, I draw Liliana Vale. This is like wow. good spell after good spell. Do, does my deck play Dry Dive Does anyone remember in uh, my list? I, I don't actually know. I can't. I can't remember. So let's let's check. <laughs> it's probably worth it. <laughs> right? Do I play Dry Arbor? Because I probably don't. Right? Because there's no green sun zenith in the deck. So I think even if you did, don't. though, I can uh, counter negative yeah. with the uh, Lily You're Lily right. trick yep. on the stack. So. Sorry. Let's just. Uh... So this was really good for my mana as well. I got to like rip Lily, which is one of the only answers for true name, um, and that's why mm. Lily's in the board is because I really yeah. struggle with his true name, and I've still got the mana to equip um, this. Seems good. Yeah, it's been pretty pretty strong. So here, uh, normally I'd be equipping Resto because Resto has got flying. Uh, so I'm assuming this resolves. Uh, yep, it resolves. All right. So normally I'd equip Resto because Resto has got evasion. But he doesn't have any creatures anyway. Snap's gone. So I might as well equip this because it's a worse creature. So if he has spot removal, he's got to choose between the better creature or the creature that's equipped the, um, to the jitty. So I equip Split. here and I swing both at um, Ugin. Seems like a strong play. If only my hand was good. Alright, you got him. Just of note, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm just like a little bit off lethal there. I'll pass. Yep. Uh, okay, let's uh, untap and draw. Uh, okay. I guess I'll play this. Yeah, what does it do? I've uh, seen it. Uh, <laughs> I'll enchant you. Sure. So at the beginning of your upkeep, you either sacrifice a creature or lose five life. Okay, I'm going to go to my upkeep. Yep. Go I'm going to lose five life. You may do lose the five life. I'm going to draw. I'm going to cast this. Yep. I'm going to upkeep. Yep, sure. And he, he attacked me, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 You got it. So. <laughs> wow. For those for those at home, I literally drew a string of these two cards, <laughs> and I had a counter spell. I, I drew a counter spell after I fetched that land, and I should have fetched a tropical island, but I was fetching for double black in case I drew Lily. But in reality, I've got more double blue spells, and that's just familiarity with your deck, right? When you think, oh, you know, I think I know my deck. But then it's been six months since I mean, played that, it. that was like a little bit strange. Like, you really should have won that. Although, I do have to say, like, that's how a lot of these junk mid-range decks pan out, where you feel so far behind in the combo, you're like, oh, this is not fair. I'm playing Corsair of Crewfix, you know, 
the three mana spell and they've got like their deck can just win on turn three. Why am I doing this? But you just find that like you do sort of just like edge out victories here and there just because your deck is consistent. Um, you know, and all your top decks, like you saw there, like all my top decks are always going to be... Well, they're all live. Like, Unless they're land, they're usually live. Yeah, like they're relevant yeah. as opposed to something like a combo deck where they can rip something that's... The wrong half. Yeah, the wrong yeah. half. Exactly. Yeah, like that. I, I literally had the wrong half to... Two spells at the wrong half of. Uh, I mean, I did draw. Cards, I think like so. five perfect cards in a row in like Lingering <laughs> Souls, Stranger Root Guys, <laughs> Kitchen Finks, Resto Lily. Like about yeah. as perfect as it gets. Yeah, so. sure. That's that's a fair point. Did you want to go to sideboards? Uh, no. Play so now board? I'm on the play. Oh, all right. Yeah. We'll play some more lands. So uh, we'll adjust our life totals in a second. I think you should start on nine. And I okay. Should start on ten. Uh, I don't know if the. Uh, if I can flash out the bitter ordeal, then you only get two, two opportunities to pay for it. So, um, this is a keep. It's a little bit mana heavy. I've got the turn one dork, so it's just like a flat keep. Uh, I've also got another playable. I want to be proactive against him. This card is not going to be that good, this match, but it will eventually be, like, I'm sure I'll cast it. So, it's not a great hand, but it's definitely a keep. And because of this... Uh, Mana Dork, any sort of top deck I hit is going to be pretty decent. You know, even if it's a turn 4 C Drino, um, it's just going to come down a turn earlier. So, yeah, it's a good hand. My hand is probably also similarly good. Uh, I've got this to, uh, you know, start off the game. Uh, i got this, and then we have this familiar bad boy. And then we've got a little bit of, uh, you know, flexibility. So, this is a keep, and I will be on the play. I lead on uh, this because I believe, well, maybe not. Actually, uh, lead on this and pass. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I'm actually gonna. I know I said I've got the but I'm actually gonna play this. He's not playing control, so I don't need to like bait out chain lightning, fatal push or something. Like he probably has them, but he doesn't have heaps of them for the turn. Um, and I'd rather have this online, no summoning sickness, because there's no three drop that I needed to jam out quickly. I didn't draw a three drop. I didn't draw a threat. So, play this, and now she's just live for the whole game. Going to be a thorn in his side. Seems true, which is why I'm going to lead off with this. Ah, so, well. we're going to choose the modes of minus two, minus two to this fella. And I've got a choice here, because the chances of you having a... Spell uh, snare. <laughs> the chances of you having, like, a uh, council's judgment, or some kind of spell like that, is, is one possible consequence. The other thing is... Most of the things I'm scared of are artifacts and the like, and you know, artifacts we can't actually deal with. with is it no creature or is it instant sorcery? No, it's instant, instant sorcery. sorcery. So, yeah, okay. like, Council's Judgment and so on. I don't think it's worth playing around that and Green Sun Zenith, so I just use that mode. Alright. All right. And that's like a little bit unlucky, but you know, uh, I'm that's fine. Okay. You know. Uh, okay, so it's just going to be Savannah, Noble Hierarch. Okay. I'll respond to the Noble Hierarch. No, no, it's misstep. Schmishstep. So he yeah. ripped the schmishnet? Or I he did. just assumed... Oh, I ripped the... that misstep. Okay. I felt so bad yeah. after you played the Mother of Bridge. <laughs> I showed it to the camera and then I went, Ooh, you got another one. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's <laughs> no way nice. I can play it. It's going to like... It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright, I'll draw for 10. Uh, this is what I drew for 10. So, uh, somewhat relevant because I'm going to play... I'm going to play... Ooh, that's a really relevant thing. Okay. It's a tough one because Let's play this. as far as like going late into the game goes, this like, is pretty good against. Yeah, you. I'm actually like quite good going late because I've got like quite a lot of ways to generate value. His uh, control is there to sort of protect his combo, not to, not necessarily like, gain advantage mm. over I'll time. Not pass. So I'm like a little bit scared because I don't have. Uh, my hand looks like this. <clears throat> and my hand looks like this. Oh, we've got some cats running around. Uh, this is a, a bit of a non-interaction. Right this doesn't work the way you think it works. <laughs> All right, and I'll untap and I'll draw. All right, and it's relevant to draw this. Okay, so let's go. Let's go one blue mana. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, I'll pass this. Yes. All right. So this is good because you see my hand 
is absolutely atrocious. Yeah, where's my brain? This from? is fixing the hand. So I do, I do like it when uh, we get to play mid-range decks with Brainstorm because it does exactly this. Are you calling yours like a mid-range or like a mid, mid-range combo? I would call combo. it a mid-range combo. Yeah, like a fifty-fifty or probably. Yeah, it's yeah. so about fifty-fifty. Like, are you running uh, Seedrono? No, no Seedrono. Right. If you're not running Seedrono, then I think you're like less mid-range. <laughs> <laughs> I do have Titania. Oh, okay. is well, Titania is very good. Uh, so I'm going to put away this card. She's good with sure. Flash as well. Yeah. Uh, no, she's not, right? If you see me scratching my cards... <laughs> I don't think that works. Doesn't it? No, I don't think that works. in, it enters... You get a land draw. Mm, you get a land back, sure. <laughs> but that's about all that happens. Okay, I was thinking you get a 5 <laughs> You don't have any priority. You don't have any okay. priority to do anything. Yeah, well, um, disregard. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's... Knowing which fetches are available, so I want double black, uh, I don't mind double blue, double, double black and double green, so I keep, I keep this land, okay, so I put away this land, clearly I'm putting away bad cards, you see, with the brainstorm, I'm going to play this land, okay, um, so I'll attack, you got me. get in there, and I will pass down. Pretty good one. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. Uh, he, I don't think he runs it, but he could run Miscalc or something, so mm. I'll just like play a land. Stoneforge. Okay, let's let's fetch a land. Uh, so this fetch is largely um, academic because I'm not actually actively fetching for something to change this equation, but I will get myself your brainstorm value. My brainstorm value. Uh, there's so something to be said I'll, for like I'll playing around system. counters. I, I well, feel like people play around counters a little bit too much. What I'm doing is, is this. So there's so many like four. There's so many you know instant speed like you know dig through times and stuff in this format. That the green team or not? And like factor fictions and stuff. I think like often it's just is better it? to jam. Um, like I'm not too far behind, so there's not a huge rush. But he did just play like brainstorm and he's manipulating his hand, so. You know, it's not just a board on board. You know, if it was just board mm. on board, maybe I, I wouldn't need to rush. But if he manipulates his hand, that sort of, to me, it feels the same as him being able to construct a good board presence. So I could be behind and just not know it because he's on combo. So that's mm. why I jammed Stoneforge and didn't play around counters uh, as much. Seems fair. I'm going to get in there. Seems fair. Get in there. That's Seems fair. Get in there. Uh, all right. I'll play this and I'll pass ten. Sure. Uh, I guess if I'm going to crack both fetches, I might as well fetch at least one of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's probably much of a muchness for yeah, it when, it when um, you can get your tapped land. Yeah, like, I, 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 I think it's, I don't think you need to um, play around, uh, like, yeah. the life isn't super relevant, but, like, I'm pretty confident I'm going to use the mana, so... Did you also take an extra one from Exalted? I did. Oh, I didn't. Ah. I didn't. Whether or not I sequenced it that way, that was definitely my intent, and maybe I did not I did not express that correctly. Now, this is a choice. I've got this or this. This feels a little bit lacklustre. Um, it is going to be good, but like... Uh, I don't know. Same logic as before. I just want to jam. Titania. I don't think he's got that Oof. many counters. I could be wrong, maybe he's just full of counters, but a four colour spell that's like a four colour deck that's running scrublands, I don't think it's got a huge amount of. Um... Yeah, Titania seems strong. Is she strong enough that she uh, resolves? She, she resolves. Alright, so I'm getting back a green, specifically a green. Cool, I'll respond to that. Right. So he's doing that so that I can't fetch him response uh, and trigger the Titania to get the 5 3. Alright, right, go ahead. and I'm getting back this because I run Dried Arbor, so I can just fetch yeah, Dried get Arbor. The, get the Dried Arbor. Feels very good. Seems like nothing now, but oh, you right. know, you might draw Skull Clamp or something. Oh, that's decent. Alright, uh, okay, let's uh, attack and Dang. get in for two. Down to 16. Uh -huh. oh. uh, so, you got Dried Arbor in the deck, you say? Could be. Dried Arbor Could be my hand. It's pretty strong. <laughs> Does it? Strong. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when we're in the tank, we just talk. <laughs> um, but in reality, yeah, but, pretty but accurate. Those it's listening, China, but like, doesn't seem that strong. <laughs> it seems convenient that I get it for free, but I we don't know how strong is the term I'd use. Mm. Uh, just 
just if I you think can, no. we just I think we just jam this. Yeah. Uh, Different uh, angles to yeah, avoid glares. Okay. Uh, I'll pass turn. So I was gonna fetch Dry Dive at end of turn just cause. Yeah. Now I'm not sure because Lily kills it, but do mm. I have enough mana anyway and I can pressure it? There's a few decisions to make. I'm gonna do it. Yep. Go for it. Bam. Thank you. You're welcome when I reduce your life total. No problem. <laughs> I'm happy, happy with that. Happy to do that. <laughs> oh, <right>. much obliged. <laughs> So at least we got rid of Titania, that would have been pretty nasty. And at least I found a use for some things. <laughs> uh oh. Is it. Is it. Right of order. Oh, very nice, very nice. Very uh, destroy nice. artifacts. Very nice. I could indeed. make a 4 3, but there's no point because the Strix will yep. just block it once it becomes a threat. Yep. Uh, and then I have. I might want to save fetch lane if I draw the uh, Renegade Rallyer. Oh yeah, that's very strong. Revolt. Um, Revolt is good. But I kind of want to conceal this. So I'm going to fetch basic green. And I'm going to make Judgment. Yeah, so like, Council's Judgment was something that I was definitely worried about. Earlier. Yeah, you called yeah. it when you had yeah. the Collective Brutality. I did have Judgment in hand. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so uh, I was going to wait until you fetch that Dryad and then get value out of the Lily and play it the following turn. But then I thought, if I play it the following turn, I'm actually using oh, my free mind. Get him for one. There's yeah. not there's not much I can um, I can Judgment like that. One of the big enchantments, Ugin, uh, True Name. Oh, maybe there was a bit, but hmm. once you resolved it, like it feels like I've feel pretty far behind if I'm playing a 3 mana sorcery speed spell and you've probably already got like an uptick from Ugin or a downtick from Ugin yeah or like a trigger from your cruel reality <laughs> <laughs> cruel cruel something or other uh, get in there I think it does alright like if it trades with this that's fine I right, attack for one alright go for it no. Uh, no I draw I don't lose life yep um, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm three. Sure. Yep, I will take three. So... Go? Alright, uh, I guess I'll fetch this because I have used Brainstorm so far, so, you know, once Brainstorm is out, there's very little reason to hold that. Yeah, and I played this because I don't, uh, I don't have Brainstorm. <laughs> sad, sad times, right? Uh, yeah, not having Brainstorm. You can see with the evolution of this deck, because this deck was a deck, my deck, uh, and then people like started playing Splashing Blue and playing Evasive Action, which we've already seen, which is a really cool spell, um, and Brainstorm and like um, Days and Battlefield Strix has sort of evolved to that. Um, I've very much been looking forward to this. What? Very much. What are you on about? Now, I have a question. How many Exile effects do you have in the deck in Junk? Council's Judgment, Swords to Plowshares, sometimes Path to Exile, right? Yeah. And I haven't seen Swords to Plowshares. Correct. So there's okay. Judgment. I'll cast Flash. That resolves. I'll put in Arena Rector. Yeah. So I didn't know whether to just play it and then just stall the game out for a little bit, but I don't think that's correct, right? If you have the chance of drawing something. Swords. Yeah, Swords. So those are the cats fighting, so just ignore that. Uh, Arena Rector will find a Planeswalker. <laughs> I'll they're, either. In, they're in different decks. Yeah, Milo, Milo thinks that, you know, playing blue is cheating and, you know, what's the other cat called? Uh, that is Benny. Benny thinks that uh, Milo's a net decker. <laughs> the Moto Baby. I'm going to cry. I'm going to whinge. Uh, so, Plus three, I mean. uh, you know, I think I won't. I don't think I will. Does he get exalted when he... Um, so I'm going to kill this guy, right? Something. Yeah, yeah so I go to nine and your council's judgment is gone, so I don't think you have many answers to this guy. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> I think I know last game go I know last game yeah. I was in a Do position. Do you want to attack with this? I think I'd probably just scoop. Yeah. I will attack, but I think I'd yeah. probably just scoop. Uh, what are the odds of taking one here? What's his ultimate? Anyone even know this? So I gain seven life, I draw seven cards, and I put up to seven permanent cards from my hand with the battlefield. That seems pretty good. Yeah, it probably wins. So I'd probably just protect that, right? Uh, no, nah, I, just, I just take one. Oh, you can, yeah, I don't know. You yeah. can protect it next turn. From yeah, the that's all right. I'll draw. Uh, so this is what I drew. Um, let's go... I'm sure the audience wants to see this, so they're going to enjoy this process, right? That's how it works. I'm not going to enjoy it. Yeah, you I'm, will not. I'm, it will not be over quickly. Technically, I'm an Let's audience member. Right. I'm watching this game. I'll hit this guy. All right. 
Um, you gain a bit of life, and then I will pass turn. Resto here could be pretty good. Resto would be scary. Uh, I'll swing both at Ugin. Swing both at Ugin, you say? Because uh, Resto here, like, I can flick it in response to the bolt. Um, yeah, true. And That's I can get true. it back. Uh, so we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, so I think I need to save a little bit of life on this Ugin, right? Uh, so you're on 17. Yep. Keep I mean, an, keep an Ugin around would be pretty strong. I don't think there's heaps of rush for you though. No, I don't think so. Uh, so I'll just abrupt decay this guy. Um, and he'll take one. Yep. One bloody boy. Yours. Oh, oh, drop. Okay. Alright. Let's keep doing the things, alright? So we go, uh, so how much do I lose if I, no, I don't want to lose that. So I'll go up to 11, kill the, kill the first strikey guy. Actually, so kill the, ooh, kill this guy. Okay, Let's get a blow, Let's get a rest of them. Let's blow this. Okay. Blow, blow up. Yep. Uh, and then I will pass turn to you. Um, I can see. Oh no, they don't want to see the thing. I don't want to see the ultimate. Oh, alright. Oh, yeah, we're we'll going to see. Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll chump this, right, so that this guy sure. survives. Sure. Right. Um, <laughs> here we go. That, this is what we play for, right? All right, all right. Let's all ultimate right. this guy. This is the whole reason. I'll gain seven lives. Oh, he stays on one as well. That's yeah. not fair. Five, six, six seven. Because I've already got this in hand. I'm going to play this um, amongst my other things that I will play. Seven permanents, you say. Seven permanents. All right, let's let's uh, make him a big boy. Yeah, make him a big boy, and I will. Uh, so let's go play a land, uh, and then I will. Illidan is call for the enchantment rector. Snapcaster mage flash, flash in uh, academy rector, and then flash this in. So all your creatures are one, one ones. What about your creature? No, only one-sided. I enchant you. So you are now enchanted with these things. So it's a one-sided uh, humility. Yeah, so one-sided humility, and then also I'll probably activate Jason Fates, you, you and Puston. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so that's that's what it does, all right? That's what the deck does. If you haven't had the chance to, uh, you know, resolve an Ugin and then just power it up and then use the Ugin to power out the big things as well, it's kind of like having a really really broken show and tell on your side uh so that was the game one with uh, junk on the play and get rector on the play so we've seen the best out of both decks and i believe we both broke no we didn't break serve we were both on serve right mm. so we'll be back again with another video which will show you the post sideboard match here uh we are adelaide eternal thank you all for watching our versus series thanks guys